In anime white hair symbolizes a mysterious person, or a character with special or magical abilities. The reason I like them is because they look so cool and badass. Today I decided to bring a list of my top 10 white-haired anime main characters. With that being said, be sure to subscribe and turn on all notifications to never miss upcoming videos. In 10th place comes in Blaze Blue, Alter Memory. This anime is based on the video games Blaze Blue. The first episode started with a fight, and in this episode I couldn't found an explanation about what was going on or why. And even after the first episode the only information I could found was about the main character, and it was very short. Only after 6 or 7 episodes there was an explanation about the world in which the story was taking place. But even after the last episode the story leaves many plot holes. I don't know if playing the game could have given you some context about the characters or the world, but if you haven't played it then you will end up with a lot of questions after the anime ends. In ninth place is the Severing Crime Edge. In this anime our main character has an obsession with long hair, specifically cutting it. He loves cutting long hair, and this bizarre trait is what leads him to seek out a rumored long-haired ghost who lives in an abandoned house on a hill. However, he doesn't find a ghost, but a beautiful girl with long flowing hair named Iwai, the Hair Queen, whose hair cannot be cut due to a family curse. From here on many incidents happens, and our main character has to protect her. In 8th place is Gargantia on the Vergerous Planet. In the distant future, a majority of humans have left the Earth, and the Galactic Alliance of Humanity is founded to guide exploration and ensure the prosperity of mankind. However, a significant threat arises in the form of strange creatures called Hydaws, resulting in an interstellar war to prevent humanity's extinction. Armed with Chamber, an autonomous robot, 16-year-old Lieutenant Leto of the Galactic Alliance joins the battle against the monsters. In an unfortunate turn of events, Leto loses control during the battle and is cast out to the far reaches of space, crash landing on a waterlogged Earth. It's... In 7th place is Plunderer. I really enjoyed this show but I don't know why people hate it so much. It was released few months ago and I'd say the story wasn't bad however the action was really good. Our main character is pretty badass as well and he looks pretty cool too. Overall it's an enjoyable anime to watch. In sixth place is Undefeated Bahamut Chronicle. The story takes place in a fictionary world where there are ancient weapons named Drag Ride. Five years ago, the protagonist, named Lux Arcadia, was the prince of the empire, and he also was known as the strongest drag knight, the empire was destroyed due to a revolt, now Lux is known as the weakest undefeated, the drag knight who doesn't attack. Due to some reasons Lux ends up entering a girl's school that raises drag knights. This is the story, if it was a little more serious I think it could have been an anime that would please more audience than this. Overall I enjoyed this anime, but sadly there is no second season. Hey, do
ブラッドの血脈を継ぎし者暁古城が汝の風を解き放つ来やがれ五番目の拳銃レグルス・アウルム In fifth place is Strike the Blood. This anime gave me many mixed feelings as it has some good and bad sides, but overall I'd say I enjoyed it. Our protagonist is a vampire, moreover he is the fourth progenitor meaning a very powerful vampire. He looks pretty cool to me and also he has a harem. Take it in the ass and die! <laughs> in fourth place is Ari Furita, from commonplace to world's strongest, the ordinary life of 17-year-old otaku Hajime Nagumo is disrupted when he and his classmates are summoned to a fantasy world and tasked with saving mankind. While his classmates are gifted with impressive abilities useful in combat, Hajimi is belittled for only gaining an inferior transmutation skill that lacks any real offensive power. But betrayed by his friends and fighting with monsters turned him into a being most powerful than anyone. Moreover, now he has a harem of girls who are fond of him. I think most people watched this one and some hate it, some love it, but as for me I enjoy it. In third place is a certain scientific accelerator. If you have watched this series you should know how badass accelerator is. But if you haven't then consider watching as this is one of the dope anime series ever to exist. I can't explain in words how savage this character is, and I don't want to give any spoilers, so watch it, and let me know your thoughts. There are many ways to get into the index slash railgun series, and even if you start from here it's not much of a problem. In second place is Don Machi, is it wrong to try to pick up girls in a dungeon? I'm sure most of you have already noticed everything in my channel has Don Machi in it. I love this anime a lot. Our protagonist is Belle who's the most innocent harem protagonist to ever exist. I really like some of the characters in this anime and season 3 has been aired few days ago. So if you haven't watched it yet consider giving it a try and let me know your thoughts. In first place is Tokyo Ghoul. When talking about white-haired anime characters the first thing that comes to everybody's mind is Kaneki from Tokyo Ghoul. I'm sure almost all of you have watched or at least heard of this anime. Kaneki is also badass and cool looking with an epic transformation. Alright guys that's it for today's video, I hope you enjoyed this list. Be sure to subscribe for more if you haven't already, also you can join our discord server, and if you have free time feel free to visit my merch store website facebook page and twitter. See you soon.